crosstalk between lysine-modifying enzymes controls site-specific DNA amplifications. Welcome to the Wettstein Lab. I'm Jonathan Wettstein, Associate Professor of Medicine at Harvard Medical School and MGH Tepper Family Scholar in the Cancer Center. This is Shweta Mishra, the first author on the manuscript that you're hearing in the video abstract. Our laboratory is interested in understanding how epigenetic mechanisms control site-specific DNA amplification and its relationship to cancer and disease. The big question that we're trying to address is, what controls site-specific DNA amplifications? Cancer cells have multiple chromosomal aberrations, and this forms the basis for tumor heterogeneity. The same tumor type can be different between individual patients, and this is known as intertumor heterogeneity, as represented by the different colored jelly beans. Interestingly, the cells constituting a tumor within an individual can appear the same. However, upon closer inspection, cells within this tumor can have very different characteristics, and this is known as intratumor heterogeneity. One of the contributing factors is copy number alteration. Different cells in the tumor background can have multiple copies within the chromosomal regions, such as two, three, or four copies, creating significant variability between cells, which is associated with drug resistance. In every human cell, DNA is wrapped around a ball of proteins known as the histone optima, which together makes up a structure, the nucleosome. Nucleosomes form the basic unit of chromatin, which is a highly organized structure. Chromatin structure is maintained by enzymatic modulators, which serve to write, read, and erase modifications to histone tails. One such example is canium 4 a that demethylates lysine residues at 9 and 36 positions of the histone tail, influencing key biological processes. Previous work from our laboratory demonstrated that overexpression of cadmium 4 a caused copy gains of specific chromosomal regions. These DNA copy gains were extrachromosomal, occurred during S phase, and were lost in late S or early G2 phase of the cell cycle. The transient behavior of the KDM4A dependent DNA copy gains highlights the inherent plasticity that these epigenetic factors could confer to regions that undergo amplification. But how does a normal cell maintain genome integrity and ensure appropriate replication of distinct genomic regions? Just like a subway map, genome organization can look very unorganized and complex, but the system is highly regulated. Any dysregulation in this process can be deleterious for the cells and can result in catastrophic consequences such as the development of cancer. Work from our lab here at the MGH Cancer Center has demonstrated that the direct modulation of chromatin states by specific histone-modifying enzymes influences DNA replication. We conducted an siRNA screen for histone lysine demethylases and have identified a role for KDM5A in restricting DNA copy gains. Normally, DNA should replicate once per cell cycle producing two copies of a genomic region. The trains here represent the replication machinery and proceeds on its track, reaching its destination in a timely manner. However, when this process becomes deregulated, for example, through an imbalance of KDM5A, that results in an increased H3K4 methylation state. This recruits KDM4A, depicted here as cargo, which then associates with the replication machinery, leading to re-replication and increased DNA copy number. The presence of distinct histone lysine methyl transferases, or KMTs, influences different train destinations. Once this balance is disrupted, re-replication of site-specific copy gains can occur. Well, we hope that you enjoyed seeing the stop animation that highlights how lysine demethylases are working in conjunction with methyl transferases to intricately control site-specific DNA amplifications in the genome. So based on our work, Shweta, what would you think or highlight, would want to highlight as key points for the future of investigating? So some of the key questions are, how are these copy gains resolved? What controls the amplifications of additional genomic regions? And can we drug these chromatin regulators to control tumor heterogeneity and improve drug responses? As you can see, those are very important points for us to address moving ahead. And we hope that you really enjoyed this video abstract. Thank you.